What's up, Roller Booters? Welcome back. It's day number two on the angled soles for the Faction Tactical V1s here. These are just prototypes, not a production run or anything like that, but just testing them out, getting my thoughts, giving some feedback to angled soles on my thoughts. Um, if you're not familiar with how they work, uh, because the soles are a little bit angled, if you can see there, you can roll over and it helps you keep your weight centered over ledges just like this, kind of square ledges, hence the angle here. The met negatives are also have a slight bit of an angle up, the opposite of a juice angle, um, to help you, in theory, stay on ledges a little bit longer, just like the positives do as well. So that's the idea here. These are machined out of their proprietary UHMW material here. I'm out at uh, Chisholm Trail Skate Park here in the Fort Worth area where I'm going to be able to test these out on a variety of different obstacles. A lot, the first time I skated these, I uh, just skated one ledge, which wasn't ideal, but I got a really good feel for the sole plates. But with here, got a lot, uh, a lot more things to really test these out on in different obstacles i'm still pretty smoked actually i tried that dark ttp if you saw that like about a hundred times so i'm pretty banged up right now still but anyway beautiful day out here so i'm super excited to uh get the second session in on the angled soles um of course we have the faction tactical v1s here the laced waxed laces we got the jad straps the jad 45 straps on there uh, we got the china wire stall create originals frames with the becky satello bek wheels Semantics anti rockers, and that's the setup for today. Feeling a little bit sticky after after the first couple grinds, so we'll throw some wax on it and see how it goes. Took a little bit of breaking in, but I think it's sliding real good now. So I'm gonna test out how the soles work on this fat boy. pushing it a little bit with the alley basset. Honestly can't quite tell if I'm being real with you. I, th I think the angle helps with the fat ones here, but to be honest, because I've, I've, I've done soul tricks on this before and other really fat stuff, it seems like it helps, but not like insane really. And we'll get a couple cess slides on this little guy. A little spooky, but we'll go for a back slide. Set slide. A little squirrely, we'll try to clean it up a little bit. So set slides feel good. stable like you have a platform whoa because you do definitely feel more planted on the set slides like really planted so actually yeah feels good you know i already knew these things were going to be good on ledges and after the first street session and then skating some of these uh they're pretty good and actually i was going to say let's go ahead and get to some rails there's some really long ledges that I want to show you to really test like the angled soles ability to keep your body weight whoa, over the ledge. If you've been watching the channel for a little while now, you recognize these ledges are nice and long. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long, but you know what? Here's one me for reference. 
So the pretty standard skate park, sort of angle iron coping type, whatever, not actually angle, angle iron, but square coping. Um, so this is uh, gonna be the task. We're just gonna try to sole it. You know, I've done sole tricks on this thing before, for sure, but uh, you have to go really fast. And I always just barely make it to the, to the end, just hanging on by a thread. So this will be the real test to see how those angled soles keep your body weight over the ledge. I went a little faster than I meant to because the wind's at my back a little bit. But pretty much did the whole ledge first try while not really expecting to do that. So we'll give it a few more tries. I mean, as I've mentioned, the idea of these sole plates is so you can do just that and make ledges feel a little bit more like rails. That was wild. I feel like Honestly, I feel like I could have done a ledge uh, another, given the speed, I feel like I could almost stand the ledge forever, to be honest with you. It felt like a rail. I had to adjust how I was jumping onto it because just the sight picture, and I, I was nervous to jump that far over like it was a rail. But on that last one I did, and holy cow, that was crazy. So we got the sole in the books, but uh, I've true misery these before, but again, I've made it all the way, but just barely. So we'll try a true Mizu on this first one. <laughs> That's wild. It usually takes me uh, maybe five or 10 tries minimum to true Mizu this thing. And I'm just barely getting all the way down it. And that was first try. Wow. So we've got the true, uh, the sole and the true Miz. Let's see what some top sides feel like on this because that's gonna be Sort of the interesting one here um, is feeling out what these, uh, I mean, they felt great on top sides on the uh, the ledge, the street ledge already skated, but we'll see how they feel on this coping. I'm pretty sure that's about the furthest I've gotten with a top sole on this ledge. I've sweat stanced the whole thing, but I feel like I can get my weight over a sweat stance a little bit better. I'm gonna give the top sole like one more look. That felt really, really good. I'm not gonna pretend like I really understand the physics of the angled soles on top sides and if it helps or not, but that damn sure felt good. Just realized I haven't really done any groove tricks. Uh, so we're gonna try a, uh, try a back royale, maybe a back farve. If I can show you the back slide groove, I'm gonna try a back, uh, back royale, back farve on this to get a feel for the backslide groove here that was first try felt really good we'll get a back farve now i honestly feel like i'm just being a hype man right now but that back farve <laughs> felt amazing i think the ledge is sliding really good right now the weather's perfect um and i find that ledges and rails tend to slide better in good weather because it's the wax doesn't get too cold doesn't get too hot and melt so i don't know just take it for what it's worth but these grinds are feeling amazing angled souls did ask uh, if i would uh give them a nice long back slide i don't like front side back slides but we'll go for a go for a nice long back back the old back backy I think that's the best one we're gonna get right now. Uh, but it felt really locked in. Right at the end, even when my weight, even when, when my weight wasn't perfect, I'm grabbing it like I grabbed it. It felt really locked in, especially with the creates here. Feels really good. I lied. I really wanna get the back back on this whole thing now. Last try, for real this time. Ultra jank, but that's as good as it's gonna get for right now. So no doubt these things perform well on ledges, but now it's time to see how they perform on handrails. My biggest concern with these was that really you only have about an inch of flat space right here. <laughs> and then you get the ledge angle there. So my biggest concern with rails is slipping off because of the ledge angle. But I mean, we'll, uh, 
put these through the paces and see how they feel. Right after a topsail on this flat down ledge. I was wondering what it caught on, but there's a pretty serious gash in the rail right there, so I'll have to watch out for that. I'm not gonna go crazy on this little rail, but I'm definitely gonna try to put these through their paces and find their weak spots if they have any. True porns are always a toss up for me. Ugh. Okay, feeling really good on rails. To be honest, I didn't feel to anything better or worse. Um, they slide well. The rails started to stick up a little bit. Overall, the sole plates slide really well on most things here. This rail does get gummed up. Actually, almost every time I've skated this rail, it's gotten gummed up. So it, honestly, I think if you skate rails the way that you kind of should, where you actually get your foot over, you know, actually bone it over onto the rail. If you just put these on my feet and didn't tell me they were angled, it would be hard for me, it would be impossible for me to, to tell you anything's really different in terms of how you lock on. Uh, no trouble at all, no searchiness, no nothing. So that's a big thumbs up for me because if, to me, if they had any weak, weak points, it was gonna be rails, like round rails. Uh, the backslide groove locks in the rails really, really well. Um, really impressed with that. Last time on the first session, I totally forgot to do any negatives. And as I mentioned, the negatives are angled as well. If you can tell from this angle, pun intended, um, but they are angled just like the positives are, again, to try to keep you on the ledge longer. So we're gonna start off on the ledges on some negatives and then we'll move to the rails and see how the negatives work. It actually feels like you can balance on this thing really well. Whoa. Just first grind impressions. Uh, feels very similar to the positive side, uh, as you might expect, because it's angled. But yeah, without trying really hard, that negative Mizu went a lot further than I was expecting. I don't know, now I'm tempted to try like the whole ledge, but maybe we'll build up to it. This is wild, I really think I'm about to negative Mizu this whole ledge. I can tell I'm getting a lot of the same feeling when I did the first sole grind on this long ledge, where it's hard to trust, really trust your body position bent over so much a ledge because normally with that much lean, a, nor a normal sole would just fly right off. So still feeling out that balance point. Yeah, it was definitely just a matter of getting the feel for that balance point and trusting the lean, trusting the double cup. Felt like I could just sit on there for another 20 feet if I really wanted to. Right on top of it, body weight perfectly centered. Um, wild, wild. So that was uh, my little negative Mizu. That was for Cody, his favorite grind, negative Mizus. Um, so now, Cody Sanders. Uh, so now I'm gonna get a couple negatives, maybe negative mock, another negative Mizu, maybe something else on the rail to see how they do on the rails. I do very often kind of a switch negative value mistrial.
that left foot alley mistra negative alley mistrial. I guess you could call it my switch because my that's my weak torque foot. But I would say the negatives uh, felt great. Did uh, pretty much all the negatives I can do, and this rail's pretty much average size, maybe slightly fatter than normal, so it's not the easiest rail in the world to negative. But the only thing I really felt like I slipped off on was those uh, the last trick. But that's that one's not really in my wheelhouse, especially on rails like this. I want to get one rail in, one down rail in before we uh, before we leave. This will be the last trick, so maybe just uh, maybe top acid down the down rail, and then we'll talk about kind of summarize the video. Okay, so now I'm just going to share my thoughts a little bit of what I think after the second session here on the angled soles for the factions here. Uh, and this one was, you know, two big things. Like after the first session, like I I had fun on the first session and it was great. But honestly, it wasn't, and I mentioned this in the video, it wasn't the best obstacle to test these out on, to be honest, because it was curved. It was a curved ledge. So, you know, I could feel, you could get the feel for the angled sort of, uh, you know, technology uh, here, but I think the skate park today uh, with all the different obstacles was a really much better testing grounds Specifically on the ledges really and I was really curious of how they were going to do on rails So I've shared most of my thoughts so far in this video just kind of through throughout. Thank you nail for subscribing um, <clears throat> But I mean, so I'm just gonna kind of summarize really quick um, And I've mentioned this before it's that you know, there's a lot of comments that say hey man Why would I pay so much again? These are not for sale at least not yet anyway, but why would I pay so much for a soul plate that's effectively already broken in? And that was the biggest thing me go one of the biggest things me going into this is like well Yeah, that 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 sort of notion makes sense like why would you and so I I've skated my fair share of very broken in soul plates and to me personally These don't feel like broken in soul plates that are sort of smushy that you kind of let you wiggle around a little bit They feel a lot more exacting a little bit more Intentional with with what they're trying to do or trying to help you with um, and so on ledges man You saw it. Um, it was a real eye, eye opener for me on these on uh you know on flat ledges because you really can just as they sort of advertise or so they sort of talk about the whole reason they're angled is so you can bend over <laughs> pause so you can bone it on over and get your weight centered and slide the ledge much further so it feels more like a rail and that was my experience once you know it takes us it takes a little bit to get used to it and trust leaning over that much on ledges because typically my experience is that you, the soul plate would just yeet you off the ledge. Um, but once you start to get that balance point and, and trust that, uh, you know, that sort of lean, um, man, uh, it's 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 pretty eye opening. And it's uh, I don't know if I want to use the word game changer, but holy cow, man, that was that was that was eye opening. It really was. Um, the negatives, I was really skeptical because I'm like, man, these angled negatives here. I went into this really skeptical, um, but for ledges, holy cow, they they get the job done. They uh, they do what they're supposed to do uh, to help to help keep your balance, keep your weight centered over the ledge, and they did the, they did just that today. So ledges, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Um, they slide well. There was a couple you know times where uh, stuff was I think either not broken in or hadn't been skated in a while or not waxed or whatever. So there was a couple times where it felt a little bit sticky, but after a little bit of wax and breaking it in, everything seemed to fl seemed to slide just fine. As far as rails, like I mentioned before, is, you know, I was, again, just like I was skeptical with the negatives about how they might perform, I was definitely going into this a little skeptical on how these are going to perform on rails. But what I found really is that if you're angled over on rails like you should be when you skate rails i couldn't tell any difference i mentioned it earlier it's like if you didn't tell me these were angled and i never looked at them on the bottom of my feet or whatever um i i, I don't know that i frankly I, I wouldn't know that they're they're angled so with rails that's awesome if they perform as good as other soul plates on rails then i'm happy because you have the huge added benefit of ledges of being of uh of the ledge angle there so that's really cool backslide groove Really nice. Really, really like that backslide groove. Locks you in. You feel nice and secure uh, on those boot down tricks. Through that, this whole video, I just felt like I was just being a hype man, being a fanboy a little bit. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I got no skin in the game. I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting royalties. I'm not whatever. Um, yet, did I get these for free? Yes, I sure did. But 
I'm not afraid to point out flaws or point out things I don't like if uh, if I happen to not like it. And with these, there's so far nothing that I don't <laughs> that I don't like about the performance of these soul plates. Angled Souls reached out and they asked me, you know, because I'm providing feedback for them, and I'm like, man, I I genuinely don't don't know what I would change at this point. Uh, the real big kind of question mark is going to be the durability, sort of the longevity of these soul plates, because for me, performance is there. Uh, these are super fun. But if you're going to be, you know, shelling out however much money they go to market <clears throat> with these, uh, well, you want to know that they're going to, you want to know that they're going to last you, you know, and not just be, uh, not just be all jacked up or kind of lose their lose their mojo after just a handful of sessions. So scraped up a little bit here, as you can see, of course. Um, but I'm going to be keeping a close eye on durability now that I've s sort of for my, at least for myself, proved that these things can perform fine, um, on a variety of different obstacles that to me is going to be the big, uh, the big part I'm going to keep a close eye on is durability big time. Anyway, thanks again, angled souls for sending these over. Um, if you want to check out anything I'm skating here on this setup, uh, check it out down in the description below on this video. And I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you're not already, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.